I feel very proud solving the mystery of the dwarves. I never was the type to show any interest in being a mage or a scholar, and yet I seem to have demonstrated to these learned people that us non-intellectual types can also surprise you. I've done what no one else could do in nearly 4,000 years, though I will admit my special circumstances have allowed me to do so, considering my immunity to Corpus, my exploration of Dwemer ruins, and knowing where the last living Dwemer lives. Outside of that business, I will now get down to the last work that I have outside of the Great Houses, where I will soon go to ask to be named Hortator. I must find the head of the Thieves' Guild here in Vardenfell, a person by the name of Gentleman Jim Stacy. I was told by the heads of the other local guilds that he is by a bookstore in the Foreign Quarter, and many have insisted on telling me that it is not Jabasha's rare books, which for me is very odd since I only know of Jabasha's rare books as the only bookstore in all of Vivek. And yet this other bookstore is also in the Foreign Quarter? Strange. So it seems like I have some exploring of the Foreign Quarter in Vivek to do. Do you happen to know where Gentleman Jim Stacy is? I've heard he frequents a bookseller's place in the Foreign Quarter. Yeah, I've been told that before, but there's only one bookseller that I'm aware of. I guess I've got to go down and look, because there's none up on the top area up here. I've always wanted to read a book, but not in this weather. I don't want to read it in the stuffy, confined corridors here. Hello. Welcome to Vivek, Snail Railway. I'm Besa. Are you looking for services in the Sicker City? Maybe I can help. You know of me, hmm? Spoke to her for a moment. Um, do you know where Gentleman Jim Stacy is? I heard he frequents a bookseller's place in the Foreign Quarter. What booksellers are there? It was Jobasha's rare books, and that's all I'm rare, uh, aware of. It's in the foreign, here in the Foreign Quarter, on the west end of Lower Waste Works. So this is the Upper Waste Works. Some of these places are not, uh... I don't know, I've got to, I've got to look. Some of these places aren't listed I in my map. I don't write down everything. Well, this is what I'm familiar with. This is the Archer. Fletcher's here as well. Upper Waste Works. Okay, so... Black Shalt Corner Club. Praise and then there's Jobasha's Rare Books down here. Uh, Apothecary. Alchemist. Jobasha's Rare Books. But it's not... I was told it was not by here. Hey. Yes, I know Do you remember me? You wouldn't happen to know where Gentleman Jim Stacy is, do you? No, he doesn't. He does not know. Hello? Have you heard where Gentleman Jim Stacy is? I've heard he frequents a bookseller's place in the Foreign Quarter. Yes, that's where we are right now. The Foreign Quarter is a large three-tiered canton to the north. Yes, yes, everybody knows that. Okay, so inside, various independent tradesmen, craftsmen, trainers, Black Shelf Corner Club rents beds to non-guild visitors. Yes, it is in. There's Jabasha. You're right in the way. Good Truly friend. a pleasure to see you. This is an honor. Hmm. So, have you heard of Gentleman Jim Stacy? No. How about the Twin Lamps? Jabasha knows you have freed many slaves, and Jabasha is grateful. Please take these rare books as a gift from Jabasha. Da Aqua Duin. I don't know what you just said to me, but... Hmm. One of these... Uh, two of these I already have. Here. I don't need these books. I read one of them. Uh, okay, I have two of the Armor's Challenge. And... Was it a Marksman's Challenge? Yeah, Marksman's last one. That's where the Bosnian slave killed his very bad master. Thank Praise you, though. Vivek. Okay. I don't know where to go, but we're going to have to keep looking. You honor me.
Your I wonder if there afraid, isn't shops afraid. beneath here and the canal works. I have a memory of there being shops down here. Yeah, this is an Imperial Shrine. I believe that's a tomb. Doesn't have any family name written on it, though. Um, Gene Trader. I remember going in there before. A clothier. Alright, there's two sides to this, though. There's another side. If I go on the other, other side... Greetings. I am at your service. So down the other end over here. Maybe this is a place I haven't been to before. Uh, it says tomb on the door as well. Jarasha? Healer? Ugh. Oh, shiny. Yes? Um, move your armor, please. Good idea. I hate wearing too much armor. Uh, wow. Um, maybe yes? you should put something covering <laughs> you. Uh, replace armor. Are we in danger? This, the, yes, with the helmet you are. Yes? You can't be wearing that here. <sighs> here. How about I take this helmet from you now? Okay, wear that helmet. No, no, no. Ah, oh, she likes this one the most. Okay, just don't wear this helmet here. Speak freely. Hello, this is the Sacred City of Vivek. Count your blessings. Can I help you find someone in particular, or are you just looking around? I'm looking for a gentleman, Jim Stacy. I heard he frequents a bookseller's place in the foreign quarter. What do you sell here? Oh. Not very good items. Very poor quality potions. Okay, so that's the tomb. Some some mine Frowling. Ugh, these Brett names. Bookseller. So this has to be the place. I didn't even know there was two bookstores here, but I was told there was, but I I just thought everyone was confusing it with Jobash's red Tidings books. and good wishes to you. Hello. It's not bad when you know your way around. What are you looking for here in Vivek? I... Oh, you have books. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I can't get into that at the moment, but I am looking for Gentleman Jim Stacy. I've heard of him. Yeah, I'm sure you have. Is he here? Okay, so... I spoke to him for a moment. Gentleman Jim Stacy. Yeah. He just says, I've heard of him and smiles. Hmm. Not trapped. Oh, too loud. We're not making out, okay? If you can help it. Gentleman Jim Stacy. Who? It Hello? is a pleasure, Outlander. Uh, do you require my services? Who are you? Crazy Legs Aaron Tamo, at your service. I'm in the guild. I've heard of you, Crazy Legs. You're a Dunmer? I thought that'd be like a Bosmer. <laughs> I thought you'd be a Bosmer. Um, I am looking for Gentleman Jim Stacy. Look around, fool. The pleasure is all mine. Hello? I may have jobs for you, but you may be interested in something a bit different. The Ball Malagmer. The what? You are Gentleman Jim Stacy, right? That's me. What is it? Okay, so you, you have jobs for me? A fellow thief and member of the guild has gone missing. Would you track down Nads Theron for me? His name is Nads. <laughs> um, he used to hang out at the Elven Nation's Corner Club here in Vivek, Lalu Compound. He was supposed to deliver a key to me. Find out what happened to him. If he's dead, as I fear... Find his key and bring it to me. Elven Nation's Corner Club in the Hlalu. Okay, compound. Nad Theron. Well, you're the only person I'm doing work for. Everyone else uh, is either too beneath me or they don't have anything worth my time. I wonder if I can get out there faster. Uh, 
Vivek, please. So that was Gentleman Jay, Jim Stacy. But I've heard of Crazy hey, Legs, friend. and I thought it was a Bosmer. <laughs> Hello? I hope you're not going to make me go shopping. What? What are you talking about? When do I ever make you go shopping? Okay, this is just easier doing this way. When you have a more efficient way of traveling, you should always take it. Oh wait, Hlalu's over here. Yeah, see the Scarab? The Scarab banner, that's Redoran. Let's get over here. And the, uh... The weights over there. Measuring weights. That is House Lalu. Oh, I think I dropped that there. I don't know why it's somebody hasn't picked it up. It's been there for weeks. Okay. Well, there's a lot of guards here. She's not wearing the helmet anymore. Okay, so Elven Nation... No, it's not Elven Nation's Corner Club. What did he say? It is Elven Nation's Corner Club. Okay, so... It's this House Flalu thing's up here. I'm not sure where it is, actually. It's not like I, um, I haven't been here much. I think I went here a couple times. This is not somebody's home. <laughs> like, I would assume he'd be crazy legs, but without the, uh, the robe. Uh, where's the Elven Nation's Corner Club? Justice never sleeps. I'll see if you watch over you. Elven Nations Corner Club. Welcome, citizen. How may I be of assistance? Could it be below here? <sighs> Excuse me. This... I know I've been there before. You know what? I'll bet you it's up top. Welcome, citizen. That's probably where it is. Let's go find it. Oh. Okay, I found it. Yes, Outlander. What oh. do you want? A bit of a nice looking dark elf woman. I should say Dunmar woman. Nads Theron. The last name makes me think it's Dunmar. But the first name Nads makes me think it's a Bosmer. It is a he, right? Find out what happened to him. Okay. If there's anything I can do, I am humbly at your hmm. service. Okay. Uh, what do you think of our city, Outlander? You're not Nads Theron, are you? What's your name? I am Breathless Dara, spell sword and retainer of the Grid House Hlalu. Maybe, maybe I should ask around. Hello. I better lay off the mast. Spoke to her for a quick moment. Easy to make friends with. Have you heard of Nads Theron? I haven't seen him for a few weeks. He used to come by here every day. How wonderful. Well, Welcome, that's Outlander. not good. What? I must find out what happened to him and bring back the key he was supposed to deliver. Okay, so this is a little bit more complex. This is a different entrance. All the guards. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. Where's that slave? And what have we here? Go ahead, oh, Outlander. Please. What do you need? Go ahead. Uh, I don't believe I've seen a dark elf with such a grand outfit in some time. Can I help you? 
What's your trade? What do you do? I set the table on top of you. Okay, so you work here. Hello. You haven't heard of Nad Theron, have you? Our Vama Rathri spoke with him the last time he was in here. You might check his residence, but I don't know where he lives. Ask Gadella. She knows her customers well, although she is reticent to speak of them. Who's... I assume that you're Gadella. I'm Sivi. I'm Gadella Andes. Don't worry, Vivek can be confusing for us, and we live here. Is there some specific place you want? No, no. I'm looking for Nad Theron. You know anything about him? I really couldn't say. Hmm. Okay. So, I spoke to her. Briefly. And so, now... Do you know Nad Theron now? All right, I'll tell you just one thing. I saw Nad Theron talking with Arvama Rathri the last day he was here. Haven't seen him in a while, though. Check over in St. Delan Canton, Southside Canal Works. That's where he lives. Arvama Rathri? I don't talk about my customers, but for you, I'll make an exception. Don't get involved with her. Don't even talk to her. Just leave her. Just leave and don't look back. Sorry, I'm not that kind of person. House brother of Redoran, how may I serve you? Hello. I'm CV. I'm Arama Rathri. Don't worry. Uh, Vivek, yeah, I've heard that lots. Okay, so I heard you know Nad Theron. I saw him from time to time, but I never spoke with him. Convinced her to become f more open and friendly with me. After talking to her for a brief moment. So do you know Nad Ther uh, Tell me what you know about Nad Theron, please. What are you suggesting? I guess I'm suggesting nothing. But I have a bad feeling about her. Okay. Nad Theron lives in the St. Delon Canal Work... Now we're at South 2. That means I have to... No, it's... You know what? It'd be easier if I just use um, CV intervention. What? Oh. I think I'm using Levitate. Um, CV intervention. That would explain the strange Three noise. blessings, friend. Okay, so St. Elms is to the right, St. Delans is to the left. I know these places well. Growing up here. Well, lots has changed since then. Sith Canal works, right? Huh. I think maybe we should go this way. Yeah, it's... This must be Nats Theron. I was going to say this is the corresponding number on the outside. Nats Theron Key. Now where did I put that? see a chest anywhere. What do you think about this? I think we found Brother Nads. <laughs> yeah. I think so too. <laughs> Don't ever say that again. <laughs> um, key. Key to what though? These aren't chests. These won't ha need it. They don't require a key. There's a letter here, but it's empty. It's blank. Julian, is there like a secret place here? Uh. A tapestry I can fold back, and there's a secret door with a chest in there to unlock. Pillow. Okay. 
Okay. Hmm. Strange. Okay, so if he's dead, I fear, as I fear, find his key and bring it to me. That's all he wanted. A key to something that we won't know about. So... Hmm, this is going to take a little bit of traveling to get back to where we were with Gentleman Jim Stacy. Okay. Care for some light reading? <laughs> Hello again. I was able to locate him. He's dead, unfortunately, and I have his key. Yes, this is r the right key. This buys us some time in our war with the Kimono Tong. Keep an eye on Arvama Rathri. I believe she may be working for the Kimono Tong herself. And here's a little something for you. All right, 500 gold, thank you. Do you have any more work? Jobs, I guess, in the Thieves Guild is what you call them. The Fighters Guild is betraying the Empire for Kimono Tong gold. Perseus Marcius, the old guild master in our room, might be willing to help us fight. Perseus Mercius is a steward, yes I know of him quite well actually, of the uh, guild of fighters in Aldrun. He used to be the master of the fighters guild before the Kimono Tong got involved. I believe he will help us fight the Kimono Tong. Go speak with him and listen to what he has to say. Report back to me with any information. I think he would agree with you. We've kind of spoken about something like this before. But well met, friend. Now this, this is easy to do. I must say, I find you most interesting right now. Please go ahead. I'll grin, please. So, I'm kind of curious if I. when I go to Solstein, not if. And it's all Nords. Are they all gonna be shirtless up there? And to fit in, do I have to take my shirt off? My tunic off? I'm not doing that. Not in the cold. To what do I owe this pleasure? Yeah, for him. He wants me to go up there. How can I help you? Uh, here it is, Fighters Guild. Perseus Mercius is downstairs where he always is. Greetings to you. A I don't do too to well in the you. cold. Maybe Nords don't feel it, but I do. We've spoken about the problems with Ada's Fire Eye already. I as well as with Lore. Lore Bummel Grow Aklags. Tell me what you've done about the situation. I haven't done anything. I am curious, though. Um, Gentleman Jim Stacy has sent me here to talk to you. Mm. Oh, the Fighters Guild. Um, so Soaring Hardheart is trying to make deals with the Kimono Tong. He thinks he's using them, but I think it's the other way around. These Kimono Tong bosses have been working here in Morrowind since before the Empire came. I don't think we can fool them. When I was the master of the Fighters Guild, guild here, I stayed out of local politics. That's probably the smart thing to do. What's this about debt money? It was not Lirio Stoin who owned the money, but her brother, Rannus Stoin. Rannus was murdered, but I don't think Lirio has to that. Yeah, that, that's from going back months ago. Oh, yes, uh, Gentleman Jim Stacy of the the guild here in Vardenfell wants to know if you'll help him fight. So you work for the Thieves Guild, too? Hmm. I'll tell you what I know. Rundi and Sadrith Mora used to be my second in command. He's a good man, and he might be persuaded to join our co your cause. I hesitate to suggest this, but I trust you. Rundi has a lover, a Dunmer, from what I hear. If you find her, you can convince Rundi to join our cause. It is Fire Eye is a good fighter, but there's always been something dark about her. I found out just recently what she, that was. She's a worshipper of Clavicus Vile. I don't know how you can use this information. I'm sure she can't be blackmailed. The new master of the Fighters Guild is Soaring Hardheart. He owes too much Kimono Tong gold to back out now. There's no way I can convince him. I have to kill him. Yeah. But you also want me to kill Ada's Fire Eye. You can find her at the guild map. Kill her uh, in Belmar and report back to me. I can't believe you're asking me to do this. What? There's another one. Um, yeah, the orc. Lord Bummel Gro Aklag. He's in charge of the fighters guild in Vivek. Um, he, yeah, he's the guild of Vivek. He's in the guild of fighters in Vivek. Kill him and report back to me. 
You really want me to do this thing? Oh. Okay, so... Recall. It is Fire Eyes here. And I cannot believe I'm going to do this. She gave me my start. Really? I... Well, I shouldn't say that. It was more like... Hail, uh, friend. She helped to give me a start here. I can spare a few more. It was Caius who gave me the real start. Well, I find myself in pleasant company. Please share your thoughts. Fighters are okay, so long as they don't talk to you about their daring o exploits. In fact, so long as they don't talk to you at all. Yeah, I'm a little worried if I do attack her, that the others what might join in. What do I do to deserve this honor? <sighs> you will die where you stand! Okay, I see this has been made easy for me. I see you've risen to guardian, Snail Relvain. Word on the street is that you become Mercius' lapdog, and he sent you to kill me. I'm afraid I can't let that happen. You were always a disappointment. Die. Really? How could you possibly think to defeat the Nerevarine? Ah, it is. That's the code book I got for her. For the Thieves Guild. Maybe I should take it back, actually. No one's thought. <laughs> I like what I see. I don't think anything thinks anybody different. Anything different of me. Sorry that had to happen, friend. Well, I find myself in pleasant company. Please share your thoughts. Share your thoughts, friend. I enjoy the company. Let's go to Vivek, please. I've got an orc to kill. Well met. Good place to practice my acrobatics. I must say, I find you most interesting right now. Please, go ahead. You're in the way. Can you please move? Thank you. Oh, Fighters Guild. May you walk on water. Do you have something to say? What can I do? Ah. Uh, yeah, I don't feel right about that with Adis, but I don't care about this orc. Coward! I see you've risen to Guardian Snow Relvane. I've also heard you've been sent to kill me. I'm the only one who will be taken over as Guildmaster. I won't let you take my rank in the guild. Ah. Ah. Man, I slipped off my sword. That's what you get for not having a shield and for wearing no armor. Stupid orc. I will take the... Wow, by the nine. I can take all these for now, but it's quite heavy. Arrows. Give those to Shani. There's the juice off feather ring I got for him. Drag club. Hmm. Weird weapon that you're using. Okay. I think it's time to recall. Aldrun, please. Back to Perseus Mercius and see what he has to say. Yeah, it is. I liked her. Well, she's a Nord. And how are you? Can I help you? She's just Go a ahead. stupid Nord, but I liked her, and I thought she was a little pretty attractive, especially for a Nord. Here, take this. A lot of hammers now, and you can have these arrows. Get a weight off me. Thank you. Then we'll go back to see gentleman Jim Stacy. Hello. I'd be happy to talk. My okay. Pleasure. Yes, I have dealt with them. Now that Aedas Fire Eye and Lord Bromo Grow Act Clag are dead, you must take the battle to Soaring Hard Heart. Really? He's in charge of the entire Fighters Guild and all of Vardenfell. That's what you want me to do. There's one more thing you must do, Snow Ralvain. Once you have done this, I will name you Guildmaster. You must kill Soaring Hard Heart. Why? There's one more step to freeing the Fighter's Guild from corruption. Uh, he's corrupt too? You must kill the Guildmaster Soaring Hardheart. Take this key, Snail Royal Vane. It will let you... Yeah, I thought he just owed money to them. 
let you into my private rooms. In the chest you will find two suits of armor. They were mine from years ago. They may help you fight Soaring Hardheart, in spite of his faults. He's one of the best warriors in Vardenfell, so be careful. He's likely to be in the Fighters Guild in Vivek, and he'll be expecting you. I just saw him, actually. He is there. I think I might hold off on that for a little bit. Okay, it's time to recall, then. Share your thoughts, friend. I enjoy the company. Vivek, please. Let's go find Gentleman Jim Stacy. Tell him the news. Pleasure is all mine. I'm back with news. I sent you to speak to Percy's Mercies and see if he was willing to help us fight. Well, it sounds like Perseus came through after all. I can hardly already think of a way to make use of this. In the meantime, here's some clink for your pockets. <laughs> clink, eh? <laughs> uh, okay, do you have any more jobs for me? Based on what Perseus Mercius told you, I think we can win over Ada's Fire Eye if we can find the bitter cup. I don't think that will ever happen. Ada's Fire Eye is dead? Yes, that is a problem. Well, she can't hurt us now, but neither can she help us. We'll have to move on to other jobs, okay? Based on what we know, Rundy might join our cause and betray the, his leaders in the Fighters Guild. If that doesn't work, we could press, put pressure on Rundy's woman. That's what... Actually, that's what Perseus Murchie has mentioned. Um, talk to Rundy. If you can convince him to join our cause, you won't have to track down Rundy's woman. Who is his woman? Like Perseus Murchie said, Rundy has a Dunmer lover. Oh, Why'd you have to tell me that? If you can find out who she is, you can pressure Hundy to join our cause. You can find her. Yes, I know exactly where he is. Oh, it is a pleasure. Stupid noise. Care for some light reading? I realize that I might not be the most accepting of all people in Tamriel, but I don't count that as a bad thing. I'm only a being who can go by their experiences in life, and my experience have been that Nords are not a people I like. Let's not even get into the beast races, or orcs, or male Bosmer. Idiots. All of them. 